It's happening. You know, I know this mission, but you should be, you're you like 20 missions away from this, in my opinion. I can tell from the map. Well, this seems like standard fare. I believe we're going to be fighting the same planes that we would in your version, which makes it kind of annoying, because that includes a bunch of 211s. The, I'm assuming the 211 is the Orca and not the... Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's that's the that's the good one right there. Yeah, that's such a good plane. It's pretty good. I think I take it into the worst possible conditions when I actually get hold there of it. There is no worst possible condition for the Orca or the Orcaness, as the game calls it. Yes. So we unlocked the Raptor a, a little F22. while ago. Yeah, yeah, we did unlock it. Use it, okay. and it's uh, it's it's pretty good. Good, because you're using the same plane I was using. No, because I need to actually get rid of, get all of the other planes out of the way before using the Raptor. Oh my god, are you kidding me? This is a bomber! Yeah, I mean, but it has air-to-air -air combat capabilities, so... Not as good as the Orcanist to... does. <laughs> I mean, yes, it's called a fighter attacker, but it's still... It, it leans more on the attacker side than the fighter side. Uh, I heard it was, like, it was what became the F-35, so I figured it was, like, the best possible choice. It is, yes. I mean, well, I think I said, I think I might have said that. It was, like, a prototype or something. Either yeah, way. Like this, was, this was scrapped in favor of the of the 35. At least in the next 32. Oh. Big dopey redneck plane. Yeah, 201 still being completely crap. Good to know. Yep, yeah, took me a while for some reason. Like, I had no idea why it took me a while to realize what the 701s were. Do you remember what? Do you remember what the R stands for in all of Newcom's planes and aircraft? Oh, they don't explain it in this, so no. No, it means radical, man. Oh shit, that's so good. Because it's 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 this radical new line of amazing air technology. The seven. I can actually say that. I, for for a half second, I almost thought you might be kidding, but no. No, it totally is being. radical. I would have made it be the R line for really good. No, then it would have to be RG seven hundred one. That's some real good 701 there, mate. I think in this exact area, I might have missed one of those helicopters somehow. D don't ask me, though. Because I'm not taking responsibility. Yeah, I think I actually did have one failed run of this. And by failed, I mean I thought I had gotten everything, but I was one, one or two targets short of an A rank, and it was Orcanus? because one of them was just like hiding off somewhere. It's probably an Orcanus. Yeah, because they're the only ones who wouldn't have gotten shot down within the first 10 seconds of the fight. I almost decided to ignore them and go for the next set of targets. That's going to take forever. And this is a long mission, so I think it's the second longest, or it's the actual longest if, mission in the game. If you're going for... You know, max rank, yes, it can be pretty long. Definitely up there in some of the longest missions in the game. Uh, I'm going by the operational window, which I'm pretty sure is like, it was a little over 10 minutes for this version. Yeah. European version gets more time because European version. Hmm. Using the gun. Ha! 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 Look at this guy. Oh, I have a surprise for you later. All told, this is actually going really well in Ace Combat 3 terms. Making good yeah, time it's here. Yeah, uh, I think I... Yeah, I was tempted to have more than, like, a two or three cuts in this level. But I ended up only really needing the one. I'm pretty sure it's right after I destroy this guy. 
It bugs me that you're not always using your afterburner. Wow, that guy's pretty lucky. That's why I hate the Orcanus. Oh, I thought you were going to say that's why you hate uh, the urn. I mean, the urn's okay, but these, fighting the Orcanus is not something it should be doing. No, we, we just bombed the hell out of that Orcanus. Oh, hey, there's another pack of them. More roving mm. gangs of newcom attackers. I think this one goes a bit better than the uh, than the last. Jesus pack. Christ! How many? Five of them in there? I think it's. Oh, it is five. Hey. Oh, there's a Delphinus. Oh, good. That's why. He was. It's like punching above your weight class, essentially, right there. That Delphinus. He thought traveling with a roving gang of newcom attackers would help him out. <laughs> what a nerd. But I think the reason I'm not always using the afterburners is because I feel like every time I do, in an effort to catch up to another plane, they suddenly seem to stop and turn around and fly straight past me. So I mean, I get that happens like... sometimes in uh, 4, 5, and 6, for sure, but I didn't notice that in this game. Maybe it's just me, but I would always, I would, or I would tend to slow down right around the 2,000 mark or 2,500 mark and let uh, to get a slightly more stable shot. Ah, uh, the USS Convoy. First, of, uh, not first of her class for sure, but it's not definitely the last ones. No, no be because if it was, if it was the radical, it'd be the RC. Imagine a Newcom designed uh, convoy could somehow still fly in the air. See, if we called it the RC, then they might mistake it for that line of radical remote control toys, which is really the RRC, but don't tell anybody that, because it's still in development. I had one of those, I think. Maybe I just kept going over to friends' houses who had them. Somebody drove, uh, we had some, what was it, I'm trying to remember. Either way, my brother had a, long time ago, someone rammed an RC car right in the back of his ankle and he needed to, uh, go to the hospital for it. Jesus. It was a giant truck, yeah, it was a really big fucking RC truck. Oh, okay, how fast could that As thing fast go? as it goes, um, pretty fast, to, to, to uh, shatter his ankle. Wow. It was it was like a monster truck RC car or something. Oh yeah, this is what I forgot the last time. I forgot to get that one that's just hanging out over there. That you I don't think you need to kill everybody. I think I actually I think I did. Well, I mean I don't think you need to kill everybody for the A rank, but it helps. Well, the last time I did it, I got, I left some things alive, and got a B rank, so I figured I wouldn't take any chances. And it was, was right there. The only tricky part was seeing it on the map, because it's an indistinct grey blob. I was kind of hoping you would ram into the helicopter like in Resident, like I did in Resident Evil 6 one time, and just explode violently. Ah, <laughs> oh, that'd be Keith's job. No, he would actually get stuck in the rotor blades and then bring it down with him. Oh, he wouldn't geez. explode. Look at, how did that thing survive? Because you didn't shoot it right. I shot it perfectly fine. I have to take another much longer than necessary run at it. You could have turned around way sooner than this. I could also have, like, used the tracking cam to get a slightly decent camera angle on that as I pull up, but... I wonder how nah. many people have ever crashed right after they won a mission and they just died at it. Me. Multiple times, me. In this LP while recording, me. Well, at least crashing on the carrier doesn't count against you. 
once again, I get like the most extreme possible angle. Just yaw a lot. Use those ailerons for something. I wonder if this is the one that I don't slow down for. It'll be a nice oh, landing. Oh no, I know what I know what this explode. is. I know what this one is. You dying? I don't die. Pull up. Come on. <laughs> I didn't know you could fail a landing. Yeah, if you I, don't I've never seen that message. If you don't touch the runway. That's actually picture so what perfect I, right there. Hmm. What I, I'm pretty sure I have done angled uh, landings before. You just have to first touch down on that landing strip, and then you can go off. I've never seen that, though. Failed landing. That's pretty good. Yeah. Let's see, 2, 10, 21, 32 targets, right. something like that. Hmm. It's a so long I day. Like 30, I think it's like 30 to get the A rank, but I was, couldn't remember. So, are you ready to uh, counter some terrorism? Because there's a large mothership over over Mega Flu. Yeah, I hate those Zeppelins. They, Man, terrorists have gotten their hands on a lot of Zeppelins lately. It's a militia. They're bent on uh, a coup or something like that. Against who, though? I mean, there's no real government here. But they're going... But they're a militia. Well, you, anyway, now, yeah. like, five missions after we unlock it, we're going to use the Raptor. Should have been using that the entire time. Yeah, it is our first box art plane. First real plane. Uh, so yes, for anyone not familiar, this is the first time we'll be fighting the UI-4053 Sphena. It's a giant Zeppelin with some guns and missiles on it. Wait a minute. It's our... It's the first kind of boss battle of Electrosphere. And even in this game, they're going to overuse it. I can't tell sometimes about this map because... There's a map they had that I assumed was like the destroyed remains of Megafloat, but then it, I guess I realized that Megafloat was not actually destroyed. They just bombed, just bombed it a bit. I, I don't know. Even in the Japanese version, I wasn't sure exactly what happened to Mega Float after Ouroboros had their way. That was a pretty cool pass right there, I'll, I'll give you that. I, I can't tell what this area is, though. It's just like a bunch of ruins in the ocean below you. This map gets overused a lot. And I'm not sure if it's supposed to be Mega Float or not. It's probably... Well, it, it said it was in it's the skies no, of a Mega Float. Well, that doesn't make any sense, because in the third... Uh, no. In the first Ouroboros ending... Um, key, uh, Dijon's craft crashes into a city, which you can only assume is Mega Float. Even though it was all happening over this the sea area. I don't know. Yeah, you're saying a lot of words that don't mean anything to my European ears. Does Bullseye mean anything to your European ears? Uh, yeah, that's my AWACS operator. I think it was Sky Act. Wow. No, it's Bullseye in this How game. How many times so, did you practice this mission? I, re I refuse to believe this is you playing. <laughs> it's literally zero. For some reason, in like to make up for, I guess, not... Um, uh, well, now we have to destroy some airplanes, whatever. To make up for uh, not getting any cool tracking cam shots in the rest of the game, I have really cool camera, ang uh, camera angles while fighting uh, the Sphena each of the like two or three times. That guy had no right surviving that. So I believe this is... Ah, uh, these are burkets, man. Those things are awesome. Yeah, I think it's the first time we see them, too. So I think this this uh, instance of the Sphena fight is the Radio Silence mission. I was gonna, like, leave it up... I was gonna leave it up to you to figure out which one it was, but... This isn't uh, Radio yeah. Silence, because Mega Float was there. But I, believe, I remember but, that much. I think, I'm pretty sure it was Radio Silence, because wasn't, ra didn't Radio Silence have uh, someone show up at the very end that you killed, and they're not saying anything? You can potentially kill them. Look at that, gun kill. Bang. Yeah, that doesn't count, because you had to get right point blank on him. <laughs> you know, you, more, more fittingly, it was more like your wing cut his wing off, and then he just died. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the, from this the same, like, structure as, uh as Radio Silence, because here's our final target. 
And I think you'll recognize this fella. If that's Mega Float below... Hey look, it's okay. a UI4054. Okay, Let's destroy it. Okay, this is Mega Float then. I, was, I saw like there's ruins out there somewhere. Yeah, so this is Radio Silence then, because Mega Float was Ex there. Yeah, except instead of destroying Cynthia, it's a random 103, it's a random 454. Oh, Pay attention, this guy was a chump, by the way. Pay attention to the uh, to the message at the in the debriefing. Oh, come on, crash in the water. No, because you can crash right up to the point that it actually uh, fades out. And that has happened to me several times. Even the replay thought that was good. Even the replay knew to start there. That's pretty... Yeah, okay. Mm, I guess it means the end of the game is now. I mean, you destroyed like three of those so far, right? No, this is only the second. Oh, you know, considering how much they throw it around. I mean, you well, would... It's okay, because between the last time and this time, uh, UPO has been investigating it. Just like they said they would. Oh, oh by the way, name drop now. of name drop Ouroboros first time. Hey, there's no pilot in that damaged uh, 4054. Let's investigate that. Yeah, because there's no anime in Europe. Are you kidding me? <laughs> and now for something completely different. But yeah, that was literally the first mention of Ouroboros in the debriefing. That's where they get introduced, and now they get casually uh, oh, so thrown around. Oh, so rather than this being a, you know, a false flag operation from the Japanese version, it's just, oh, this is illegal, and we're just gonna jam it. I don't know why we're bothering with the jamming if this is actually a legit attack, though. I guess just because well, gimmicks are don't, cool. We don't want them to attack us while we attack them. Yeah, but you we'll, have, we'll like, We'll still the destroy God some plane. power plants, though. See, that's how you endear yourself to local population. Shut down all emergency services. Shut down power. Prevent any emergency services from reaching those in need. Eh, no one really cares about the Usians. That's kind of true, actually. What, no, no EA-6B on the side here? I don't even have anything accompanying you, so who the hell's jamming anything? It's a shame you don't have the Orcanist, then you could recreate this mission for me. I don't think I unlock it for another, like, five or six missions, actually. That was a terrible first pass, you should restart the mission. Yeah, I really should. It's probably just me doing the jamming. After all, I'm, uh, I'm a robot. Damn, those F-22s, they, they got really upgraded in the future with electronic countermeasure pods. I think then I realized that uh, I don't have any target requirement to get the A-rank on this. I don't remember what the A-rank is, it's probably just doing it very quickly. So I'm going to cause minimum, uh, minimal damage to the city and just take out all the radar sites. And the power plants. Enjoy your F rank, son. You're missing one behind you. Okay, good. I knew that. Oh, and you've got about 30 seconds to get back in the sky, which will take about oh, 20 fine. seconds on its own. Don't worry, the computer will annoy me when it's time. No, not that computer, the other one. Yeah, that one. You are a computer. Yeah, and I hate those computers. Now, this is still one of my... I think this is one of the cool missions in the game. I'm wondering what's taking place between those jamming periods that's making the jamming effective again. I don't know how jamming really works. 
As far as I know, you literally launch a jar of jam at, the, at their radar dishes. I know someone who would be able to tell me that, but he is busy right now. Because he worked on... He works on... he Well, he was in the Navy and he worked on a EA-6B Prowler and he knows how electronic countermeasure works. But yeah, like, as, as it's being used here, it's like just a... It's like your alt that has a, has a cooldown on it. I think as long as you do... Do it all. Do what you need to do in the in three jamming or less, which I don't know how you do less. If you, that'd have to be some pretty miraculous shit right there. But yeah, I think that might be the A rank on this one. I don't remember. I, I still destroyed everything in mine because I had the Orcanus, baby. Also, this was uh, as part of UPO, so it was like all government-funded destruction, right? Yeah, we were attacking ourselves. Oh, so it was a tax evasion scheme. No, it was more like, like we had to, we had to keep ourselves in war so that we'd make more money. That way we could get more of the Sphirna going on. No, oh, who doesn't love more Sphirna? I will say there's one thing that AC3 does better than any other game in the series, and I don't really remember 6, so maybe 6 is good, but um, more than 4, 5, and just any other, being up in the clouds actually looks really impressive in this game. It, it really changes the, the scope of what you're seeing. And plus there's the whole physics, they actually had a real physics engine here where going where if you're flying down, you pick up some pretty impressive speed. And going up is, of course, pretty difficult. Hmm. I don't remember how... I don't think in 6 you really go that high up. I think it was, again, going from this game as my first, like, arcade, uh, arcade flight game. To... Hey, Crow, hurry the fuck up and get to Ace Combat 6 so we can talk about that. Yeah, that would really help. I can't be fucked, like taking it off the shelf and putting it in the 360. I wish I could do that. I'd play some. <laughs> I okay, mean, maybe I'll do that, that game's kind of hard, but like if you play on the higher difficulties, because holy shit, knows Feratu and all. Not even getting into those downloadable ace missions, too. Oh, I remember those. Oh, I never got to do any of the DLC, because I, like, I didn't have an Ethernet cable that could go to my router. So I couldn't get online what? 360. Go out to a Best Buy. Oh wait, you don't have that. <laughs> well, also I was 12 or something. I don't remember. How oh wait, you did have to land. Yeah, let, let's land in the city we attacked. Right, I think I, rem yeah. I remember that specifically. I think I said that. Yeah, now that we've uh, uh, destroyed all their infrastructure, let's land here. And I mean, you could kind of do the same thing in Ace Combat 5. I mean, you but you kind of captured that airfield. Oh yeah, I remember that. You do that in Ace Combat 6 as well, I think. Like in one of the operations, if you do one part of the mission first, you can land. You are a terrible lander. You're supposed to like go down and then tilt your nose up and then let the gears do the rest. Nope. Nope, I have to fly into the ground. Man, landing is always so fun in these games. I don't know why. I don't know why people keep, like, autopiloting them. It's great. It's really not that hard, and then you also have to do it and if it... you want the rank, I think. Plus, they also gave you the medal in Ace Combat 5 for for doing it as well, if you if you mm. do it all under a minute. So we're going to put that Super Flanker to actually really significant use in the next video. Good. It's one of the best planes ever.